Sorry, there's hand marks. <laughs> You can check out the location, see if it's the place you want to go. If you then shut the device, if you're walking, you probably want to have it held shut. So you can hit that, click on directions and then start, and then it will just take you through the destination straight away. It's the Galaxy Fold. Uh, we've been working on it for some time now. So we introduced our first foldable screen uh, innovation back in 2011 at CES. And then since then we've been working on how we take that device and bring it into a, a true product. And what we've done is we've designed a, a beautiful product that is designed primarily to use in uh, open mode, but it fits perfectly in your hand for single-handed grip. And then you can see when you open the device there, it's got this fully immersive, beautiful screen on the inside. As people are consuming more and more data and enjoying more and more entertainment, they have this desire for a large screen. But if you have to keep uh, having the large screen on a single front device, that's going to get really big and it's not going to fit in your pocket. So we had to solve that problem of providing a large screen, but also having something that fits in the pocket, which is why now is the perfect time for the foldable technology to come in, because it does give you that ability to have something that's handy and pocketable, but allows you to then enjoy incredible multimedia content by using this beautiful large display here. With any technology, we'll be working on ways to say, okay, how can we continue to improve our processes and get our cost structure down? Because we, we know not every consumer can afford close to $2,000, that's very clear. And it's in our interest to also continue to build that down. So over the years, it's clear that it will come down in cost. Right now, I think the value for money with everything you're getting on this device, there's nothing else in the market like it. And we can't wait for people to experience it for themselves. We have competition from everywhere. I mean, I think what we've done at Samsung, we always do is push the boundaries with foldable technology. And anytime our competitors see us doing something innovative, they obviously want to follow as well. So it's perfectly natural. But we definitely feel like there's this is the, by far the best device out there. So if someone wants to engage with a foldable device for the first time, they want the most premium finish, the best experience, then this is the one for them. The smartphone hasn't changed in a very long time. Uh, if you think about what they look like, they have looked like uh, sleek black rectangles of glass for many, many years now. And so as we hit peak smartphone and, and people sort of stop but, you know, renewing their devices quite so frequently, uh, smartphone makers are finding that their profits are falling. Samsung especially reported that its, its profits and sales were down. So they're having to come up with new ways to entice people to upgrade a bit more frequently. Yeah.
the advantages should be that it becomes uh, phone shape and size when folded up, but it doesn't actually become as convenient as a smartphone because it's so bulky when it's folded up. It's not going to be as slim, it's not going to fit in your pocket, it's going to be probably quite heavy to carry around. So it, it doesn't quite have the convenience of a phone and a tablet rolled into one.